I think there's a ton of factors involved that now have you realizing with that moment yesterday to catapult that Josh Allen, this could be the year that he gets the MVP. And I know everybody always says, we don't care about an MVP, we care about a Super Bowl. Of course, if you had to pick between the two, would it not be the most no-brainer decision in the history of decisions? But everyone wants to be able to look back and know that Josh Allen's greatness can at least be defined by something. Something to reflect how unbelievable this guy was. Josh Allen can only determine his personal performance. He can't determine what happens in the 13 second window. He can't determine a Tyler Bass miss field goal or whatever might come about that could keep the team, the team from winning. But Josh Allen can determine whether or not he wins an MVP. And I've always wanted that for him so that we can look back and say, this is a perfect representation of how great this guy was. Because right now of those top three quarterbacks, Lamar, Allen, and Mahomes, he's the only one without one, much less two. And that's why I've wanted it so bad for him. And I think that this might be the year. And when you really think about it, is would this not be the most deserving year of them all? Because it was the year that they were perhaps the most doubted. It was the year that the Bills were not supposed to do what they're doing. Josh Allen was not supposed to do what Josh Allen's doing. He was not supposed to have this much success without Stephon Diggs. Now, there are so many people that have attached Josh Allen's success to somebody else, whether it was Diggs, Diggs and Davis combined, or of course, Brian Dable. How many people said that Josh Allen's success was strictly because of Brian Dable and it would fall off after his absence? That hasn't been the case. Josh Allen has progressed. He's gotten better. He's gotten smarter. He's gotten more mature. I think that's all culminated into the season we are currently getting from him. I think it's culminated into a year where Josh Allen, at this point in time, going into week 12, has the best opportunity to win an MVP. And I think that that means something, and I think it should mean something to all of us. Because there's a lot of revisionist history out there. You know it as well as I do. When it comes to sports, a lot of times you only look at a couple of different things. You don't look at the broad picture. We want to be able to look back with everybody and say, man, this is one of the best to ever do it. And there will be plenty of people out there if Allen doesn't have an MVP or a Super Bowl trophy that'll tell you, well, how could you consider him to be that when he doesn't have any of that? We know that's BS. We've watched every single snap, every single second of this guy's career, and anybody who's done that knows he's one of the best to take a football field. To be able to have hardware to reflect that, to be able to look back and emblemize that, that means something. And I think yesterday was the moment that could potentially propel him into getting that hardware that we'll be able to have forever in terms of representing just how great of a quarterback Josh Allen truly is right now and truly was when we look back down the line.